today is a pretty bittersweet, mostly bitter day. I'm packing up all of my worldly traveller's possessions. Ready to leave Krabi. Um, well, first I head back to Bangkok for a couple of days just to break up the journey a little bit, but then heading home, believe it or not, which is such a weird feeling. I know it's only been seven months since I left home, but that feels like a long time. It's the longest time I've ever been away from home in my whole life. It's the longest time I've been out of the country. It's the longest time I've not seen my mom or anyone else. So it has been, you know, quite the journey, but unfortunately, Money runs out, and I didn't start teaching English online as planned, but it just kind of felt like signs were pointing for me to go home, at least for a bit, and see what happens, reevaluate, maybe see what I want to do later on, um, save up some money for a little while. My mum really misses me, and a lot of people have left Krabi recently, um, and it's coming into rainy season here, so it just feels like it is a good time to go, even though, you know, a big part of me really doesn't want to leave at all because I absolutely love it here. I don't know what I'm going to do back in the UK yet. I'm kind of terrified, um, but I have been spending the last few weeks preparing my CV and cover letters, and um, I know I definitely don't want to go back into what I was doing before, uh, working in technology and you know, UX and UI and software engineering and stuff. That's not for me. Um, that's why I started this trip in the first place. I would like to work in, uh, you know, content creating, media production, TV, film, but that's a very, very competitive industry and I am completely untrained in that field. The fun part is, uh, my mum has no idea, none at all. In fact, the only people that know are the people here, my best friend Jess, who will be picking it from the airport, and Ed, uh, who helped me reach the decision that it was time to go while he was out here visiting. Once again, back here at Krabi International Airport. It's 4.38 in the morning, it's incredibly early. Early enough for me to be very emotional. It was really hard and really sad, leaving my apartment and Krabi in general, saying goodbye for the last time, but Gotta be done. It's my first time flying with my full-size guitar, so I'm really terrified they're not gonna let me take it on. But we'll see what happens. I have made it back to Bangkok for the last time on this trip, which feels absolutely horrible to say. And I'm not even here for long. I'm not gonna be doing anything while I'm here. I've had these like whole body flu sort of aches for like a week, so it really, really sucks. Um, I have no symptoms, just exhausted and in pain, which is lovely. And my flight's at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, which means leaving the hostel at 3 a.m. tonight, so nothing major. Just gonna be drowning my sorrows and feeling sad that I have to leave this beautiful country. But onwards to the next destination. Well, here I am at Savannah Bumi departures uh, for the last time, which is a weird, weird feeling after seven months. Uh, very mixed bag of emotions right now, not least because it's 4 a.m. Uh, not even, actually. I've had like two hours sleep, so. I'm a person that struggles with change at the best of times, but I also hate lack of change. And going from pretty much changing every single day, destination, or people, or places, or whatever, to going home uh, where nothing will have changed is in itself a big change. So I'm gonna be somewhat shell-shocked, I think, for a little while. Feels like yesterday, almost being at the Departures Lounge in Birmingham Airport, crying my eyes out after having left my mom and family and best friends and everything, my dogs, who I'm really excited to see. Um, and I've blinked and now I'm leaving again, you know? And I've done so much in the last seven months, but at the same time it feels like, what have I done, you know? Well, I've killed as much time as I can and the gate still isn't even open. And there's still like an hour till building. It looks like the flight's gonna be delayed by 15 minutes. Hopefully that time isn't gonna grow, but we will see. Take it all in, this is your last little bit of Thailand. Say goodbye. Hello, I'm in Kazakhstan. After an eight hour long flight, I've landed in the capital city of Astana. Um, luckily, I pre-downloaded some films to Netflix on my iPad because there was no entertainment system on an eight hour flight, which is crazy. Well, there was, but it was one of those ones in the center of the aisle right at the front, um, played off a cassette tape. It was really strange. Um, but other than that, the airline wasn't too bad and I managed to get 
at least two or three hours sleep, so I'm not as tired as I could be considering I've had two, three hours sleep in Bangkok. Just got like 30 or 40 minutes wait here before I start boarding, and then seven more hours to London Heathrow. I'm surviving so far, just about. I'm very excited to be in Kazakhstan now. Who'd have thought it? Well, that second flight lasted so much longer than the first one, even though it was supposed to be only six hours. It just felt like it went on forever. It was awful. Um, I didn't sleep at all. There was still no entertainment system. Screaming kids. No vegetarian food, so I ate meat today, which sucked. Um, yeah, now I'm just truly, truly exhausted. But onwards to immigration and baggage claim before seeing my best friend for the first time in such a long time, um, which is exciting. Even though it feels very weird to be back in grey, miserable England right now. Um, my guitar made it with me all the way, so that's a good thing. Well, there's one good thing about coming back to your home country, is that immigration is a breeze. It took like one or two seconds, um, to the point where the bags aren't even free yet. My best friend is waiting on the other side of, I don't know, customs, nothing to declare area. Right now she's already texted me, um, so now it's just a race to get the bags so I can bug off. At this point I'm quite glad that I don't have to do any more flying around and any more baggage reclaim vlog updates for a while. It's been a lot of travelling and I'm kind of exhausted so a little while at home will do me some good but I really don't know what my next steps are going to be. Welcome back to England, where you will never see a blue sky ever again. That's it for nice weather, forever. This is my best friend Jess. Hi. She very kindly picked me up from the airport. She was the last person that I saw uh, when I left England. <laughs> and she's the first person that I see when I come back. So we're going to spend the next two hours catching up on the way back home before we go and surprise Mama. Oh my God. We're at the petrol station, Oxford Services. Yay! I just put £20 worth of petrol in the car and bought some water, which cost me £2, which is a ridiculous amount when you're living on Asia prices for so long. That's like a day's budget gone right there. Look at this cute little bit of English countryside. Oh, I've kind of missed it a little bit. So, so. <laughs> at this point, Jess and I are about 10 minutes away from my house. We still haven't really decided how we're going to surprise my mom. I have a long driveway, so if I drive into the drive, she's just going to straight up see me and it's going to kind of ruin the surprise. So we don't know what's going to happen yet. Stay tuned to find out. I'm currently ducking down in Jess's car so as to hide from my parents for maximum surprisal technique. She's gone in to um, scope out where, they're, where they are in the house to see where I can surprise them from. Um, and then she's going to come back to the car and pretend that she like forgot her phone or something and let me know where I should go. Um, but I don't know how subtle I'm being. They don't suspect a thing as far as I'm aware, so we'll see what happens. We're doing this. We're just going for it. They're going to see us one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it any other way. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys are so tricky. Really? Because you haven't walked at me in five minutes. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lily. Calm down, Lily. No, no. I'm so little, little, little. Look how excited. Oh, we're oh my God. God. You didn't forget me. You didn't forget me. You're going to hurt yourself. Oh. 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 Sit down with him because he'll fall and break a limb. <laughs> little baby. Well, now that my mother and Diego and myself have all calmed down sufficiently and we've celebrated with a nice glass of fizzy, I'm going to end this vlog and stay tuned for another one coming soon. I don't know quite when or what it will be, but I will see you there.